In this video, I'm going to show you how to finish your SLA prints. And to do that, I'm going to be using this awesome alien from The Fifth Element, one of my favorite sci-fi movies. Well, everybody, I see a lot of SLA printed parts out there. A lot of videos are becoming really popular with these amazing hundred or two hundred dollar two hundred fifty three hundred dollar uh sub five hundred dollar uh, resin printers that are doing an amazing job uh, i'll have a review out for this elgu i want to keep printing with it uh, but this elgu mars is killing it links below if you're interested in picking one up i can highly recommend it as well as probably a lot of other people are videos out there um but I don't see a lot of people sort of finishing. I know there are, and I'm watching their videos too. But I wanted to sort of fool around with finishing because I finished, obviously, a lot of, uh, you know, regular uh, filament type prints, uh, PLA prints. But I haven't, obviously, finished anything with uh, resin because this is my first resin printer that I've really had some serious luck with, which is Algu Mars. So in this video, I want to sort of walk through what I did through doing some research and watching a lot of other people and just figuring things out uh, how to go about you know sanding things up and making things look good and I am super excited about this print I love it I went a little overboard with some details <laughs> as you'll see in the video but uh, as you can see I think it really turned out really well it's one of the probably one of my favorite things I've made so far so I'm super excited so let's go ahead and check out how I finish this guy up okay so here the print is right off the printer and you can see there are some support lines or supports uh, sticking up here that little residue left over and we need to get those off so we're going to use a 120 and an 800 grip sandpaper along with some of these little fine files so the first thing we want to do is take off you know the high points the really rough stuff with the higher grit and make sure it's out of there now you can see the dust coming off of this it's really fine so you want to make sure you're wearing a mask when you're sanding this stuff down once it's sanded down with that we go ahead and we use a wet sand of the 800 to get rid of any of those lines now i'm going to prime it with this tamiya fine primer this stuff is amazing look at the detail on that as i glue the head on it just is like a amazing amazing primer for this little kind of stuff for detail now we're gonna put the arms on and you're wondering why didn't you just prime the arms all together well I had it all primed and ready to put the gold paint on and I realized I didn't print the arms so I printed the arms off and sanded them up just like I did the body and glued them on and got them ready to go so that was kind of funny I thought he looked strange always look at your reference because once I looked at the reference I realized I didn't give him his arms yet okay now this is where I went a little overboard. I decided he is too light because he's hollow. So I filled him with BBs and he is quite heavy coming in at almost two pounds. Now the guy just looks heavy. I needed to make him heavy. So we're going to start off with a sort of just like a really cheap metallic. It was probably like a Rust-Oleum gold. Now, yes, he looks more sort of bronzy, but we're going to get there. We start with the gold and then I'm hitting him with this darker bronze, sort of just misting it here and there on the little guy. And then we're going to weather. And I love using these Tamiya uh, powders. They're not, uh, it's not a wet process, it's a powder. Because when I looked at the reference, it, you know, he's in the desert, it's dirty, it's grimy. I thought the powder would work a lot better and make it look like it is really sort of being weathered by the elements, weathered by the outside. And I'm putting it on with a little makeup brush that comes with it. And it also, on the other side of that makeup brush, is, a, is, a, is an actual little brush. That uh, This is actually a sponge, and then there's the brush. So, of course, when you're weathering, you want to hit the parts that are probably going to get the worst uh, grime and where the grime is going to stick. Of course, that's cracks and crevices, uh, edges, and uh, areas like that. So, yes, this guy probably... Uh, you know keeps himself clean but again desert space it's dirty so i'm just going to go through and hit these areas that would probably take uh, some more dirt or some more damage with this um, black now uh, you can't see me going down to the um, powders but i am using uh, the black and the brown that comes with it 
to sort of get a more model look. I didn't want to go with just black. The, the brownish color really, really helps set that off. Now, I put a little bit of a latex uh, sealant around there to, uh, to mask that. And now I'm going ahead with a really detailed brush, a uh, tiny brush, to add a little some of the paint details. Uh, I almost went with LED and then I was like, no, that would drive me crazy. Now, one thing I didn't show is like I mentioned earlier, this little sort of belly gel uh, gem, I actually had covered with a latex mask. Uh, all the links will be below for this stuff. This way I could go back in and paint that. And now I'm just sort of giving a little bit of a touch up on the little lights uh, where it might be a little thin. And once that was done, I gave a really, th really thick coat of a, uh, a really thick gloss. And I just love this thing. This is literally probably my favorite uh, prop, my favorite 3D print and finish I have ever made. I, I just dig it. Uh, he looks just awesome, or she, I don't know. Uh, the paint came out fantastic. The detail is amazing in the model. Uh, I'll just put the links below where I got it. Uh, I think the weathering turned out really, really well. And this is where an SLA printer just shines, a resin printer shines. The level of detail in here, the little gem spots, the, the spears coming off the back of his neck there, uh, how tiny the head is and how much detail is in it, that's what you get. And this is by the Elgu Mars, which is an amazing printer. Well, there you go. There he is, this awesome alien from uh, Fifth Element. You might notice I'm not saying his name, the, the, the race, because I've forgotten it. And I don't have my phone to look it up. I know it's Moon something. I'm sure there'll be a lot of comments uh, below telling me what his name is. I, I, I can see it, but I cannot remember the actual name. But um, super happy with this came out. I'm going to be doing a lot more prints uh, on finishing and uh, how to make uh, your uh, SLA prints look really good. If you'd like to see more of that, uh, maybe mention it in the comments below. Um, I've got some cool figures. They're somewhere. Uh, I don't know where they are. They're here. On the, well, here's something. Maybe you can guess what this is for. Anybody guess what this is for? Put that in the comments below. This video is coming up pretty soon. So a lot more of that kind of stuff. And again, I'll have this Elgu Mars. I'm pointing to it. It's over there. This El Elgu Mars uh, review up pretty soon. Again, I want to run more and more resin through it. I've run uh, one uh, 500 milliliter bottle, and I've got uh, a probably, what do I got coming in today? Two 500s and a 1,000, because I am just loving this thing. So, uh, great. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more finishing, mention below. Uh, also, check out uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, Facebook, I started a Facebook group, uh, 3D Printed Props. So check that out, join. A lot of people say in the comments, hey, how can I show you stuff I'm working on? Go over to that Facebook group or go over to Twitter and put hashtag you know, 3D printed props and I'll be able to see that, or at 3D printed props, and I'll be able to see that. So there we go. I hope you liked the video. Again, like and subscribe and have a great night or day. <laughs>